the Jew, I think there are two different ways that we can approach genocide in our own history, in Jewish history. And I've seen this with ch you know, children and grandchildren of Holocaust survivors, second, third generation. One way is to say, look at the Holocaust, look what happened to the Jews, the Jews are hated, the Jews will always be hated, um, you know, and we just have to understand that anti-Semitism is everywhere. And then you go through the, you know, through the world interpreting world events as reflections of anti-Semitism, this fact of anti-Semitism. That's one way to interpret it. The other way to interpret it is hatred is everywhere. Hatred is universal. Hatred happens in so many places. The ability to dehumanize an entire group is not unique to Germans of 1930. Mm -hmm. You know, it's everywhere. And that my goal as a student of Holocaust is to say, not that I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure that anti-Semitism doesn't hit me. It's, I'm gonna make sure that I do everything I can to make sure Nazism doesn't hit me, that I don't become that. Mm -hmm. You know, to say, I'm not gonna be a bystander. Like, where are we as human beings in that story of genocide? So, so that's my lesson. So, you know, when I see what's going on in Gaza, and I see these, you know, really terrible things that are happening, and I know that these are my people doing it. And many well-meaning people, you know, these kids, these soldiers, many of them are really, really well-meaning, good hearts that are coming from a place of honor and service, you know, and protection and wanting and, and valor and wanting to do something for their country or for their people. You know, in those in the name of those values, we're doing some really terrible things. Mm -hmm. And for me, learning those lessons of the Holocaust means not doing that, mm -hmm. you know, not doing that. And so for me, when you use the word genocide and you're saying my people are suffering, or even not even your people, these people in Gaza are suffering, 40,000 people, including a lot of babies. I mean, this, this week there was a terrible story, I don't know if you saw this, about these, twin, these four day old twin babies who were killed. It's very hard to talk about because they were killed and their mother was killed. And the father had just gone out to um, do his to that they to to, to break their birth certificate and came back and his four day old babies were killed by the idea. Those are my people doing it and I can't I can't I can't survive and I can't start getting into arguments about the semantics of genocide. Is it genocide? Isn't genocide? Is it is it I don't care about the word. It's just a word. Um, it's a word, okay? We need to address this. We need to address this and we need to understand and really reclaim the words like when we said never again after the holocaust it wasn't never again for the jewish people mm -hmm. it was never again for any people mm -hmm. for anybody and right now what we're witnessing is like bystander of like oh it was never again for the jewish people and the people that are dying in gaza these are not people these are not human right. uh, and it's justified because in the right. lust of killing the hamas or of catching the hamas regardless of where they are mm -hmm. is everything is justified and that's not okay. And I find like beyond any semantic is like, where is the humanity? Where is, where is humanity heading? Yeah. And coming back in a loop to spiritual perspective on this, you know, there's a lot of spiritual bypass I find in not being in touch with reality as it is mm -hmm. saying, okay, we're raising consciousness. We're raising our vibration. Let's just pray for peace and hope for the best. But in the meantime, there are people who are dying. Mm -hmm. And they are, I think part of the, um, the rejection of the word genocide is that it's not intense in 100 days or over two months. We're talking about 10 months of constant killing, mm -hmm. daily killing, mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. How can we not call that genocide? Mm -hmm. Where is the humanity in each human being witnessing that and not standing up right and justifying it in the oh right. we need to kill these terrorists or right. we need to put them down etc right. so that's the part that really gets to me to tell you the truth mm -hmm. about the issue of genocide is the dehumanization because this is true i mean it is true that you know the language of the sworn it didn't start on october 7th no it didn't start on october 7th the language and, and of the, the palestinian right, yeah, the, the didn't lang start on october but 7th, in israel in Israel, Palestinians are not really considered human. Mm -hmm. And we and we know this because we know from all of this language about, you know, just, you know, raising Gaza to the ground. And there's a ton of language about mm -hmm. that, about who deserves to. I mean, there are so many 
there was, I've had so many like social media interactions around this because it, it's so taken for granted in some places that if you're a Palestinian in Gaza, then you deserve what's coming to you because you know, Gaza is ruled by Hamas and therefore, even if you're a kindergarten teacher, you deserve to die because you deserve, I mean, you hear this all the time. And I, and I see this in Israel also um, in lots of other ways. For instance, one of the things that like, so, so there are a couple of things that drive me crazy, okay? One is that, sorry, one is that um, you don't really hear in Israeli media what is going on in Gaza. Oh no, you don't. You don't hear you it. You have no clue. And a lot of, but that's where also I, I, I consider a lot of spiritual bypass. Mm -hmm. People that want to seek peace and are praying for peace, etc. They have no clue what's happening. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's in, in an age where the information is available in front of you, denying that information by claiming that it's fabricated, it's fabricated by the general, by Al Jazeera, it's fabricated by Hamas, it's fabricated by, like, come on, how many, like, you have the same information from so many different sources, right. except from the Israeli media, right. and so it, so that makes so everybody's it, lying. Everybody's the lying. Is lying. The whole world is yes. lying except for you. Right. Like imagine a kid coming and saying, like, as in a kindergarten, because I feel like sometimes right. we're in a kindergarten, like saying they're all hating me, right. and and that's that's how I feel like right. Israel is acting, right. and it's shameful. Right. And then you have another thing, right? So I get into these arguments all the time, also about they're lying, they're lying. You know, so even let's say the numbers of how many Palestinians have been killed in, in, in Gaza, like it's hard to get a precise number. Mm -hmm. You know, these numbers are difficult yeah. and, you know, really it doesn't matter. I mean, really, why does it matter if it's 37,000 or 39,000? I mean, nobody will know for sure anyway for a long time. And also there's bodies in rubble and there's all kinds of things that, so, you know, but it'll be like, you see, they were lying, they were lying. Or it's like, there's not really a humanitarian crisis. You see people are eating, or it's like, no, 